Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I'm back again doing your monthly tarot horoscopes for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in Taurus. I have recorded this video. I tried to record this video like 10 times. Um, had a lot of interruptions and so I'm starting again. So I already laid out the spread and I'm just going to jump into it. Um, before I do that, I do want to give you a little bit of an update. Um, I am going to be doing my sex and relationships videos. I'm not sure when I'm going to be posting those, but potentially for mid-April, could be sooner than that. And I also have a new finance deck, um, which is awesome, which you guys are going to love. So stay tuned for more videos. And I am sending you a little bit of magic with my uh, magical scarf. And um, and yeah, I am still, do, still doing private readings. So if you'd like a private reading, feel free to email me, ElizabethOlson31 at gmail.com. And um, it's 75 for an hour. And I do one hour or two hour sessions. So um, 75 for an hour, uh, 150 for two. Okay, so um, let's see. The first card that you guys get is uh, the Hanged Man. Okay, and um, this is the path that you're on. So this is, <clears throat> um, I'm getting kind of like, in the beginning of April, it's going to be kind of a testing time, okay? To me, the hanged man is all about a test, a physical test, um, and, 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 a, and a mental test um, to see how much you can handle, okay? And typically, a Taurus can take on a lot. This is knowing and understanding your limits, Taurus. This is knowing and understanding how much and how far you're willing to go for your dream, okay? Um, or for a job, or for several jobs, or in general. Um, this is about strength. The story of the hangman in my, my deck is about a little boy who goes to the tree spirit. Uh, sorry, a little boy who gets upset, um, or girl who gets upset and goes, runs into the forest and um, comes across a tree that's like, why are you crying? What's the matter? What can I do to help? And the little boy, you know, confines in the tree, tree spirit and, and says, you know, I've got all these issues. I've got so many problems. You know, what do I do? And the tree spirit says, no problem. You'll get through this. Just hang on to my branch. I'm going to lend you some of my strength. I'm going to give you some of my strength to get through this. And so the little boy just takes a hold of the branch, a uh, little boy or girl, takes a hold of the branch, and um, time passes, and their issues kind of pass them by, and um, things change. Um, and the issue, number one issue for the little boy is that the little boy doesn't eat and doesn't sleep right, um, and it's just kind of hanging in there by this inner strength um, that, that the tree spirit has lent him. Um, and so for you, Taurus, it's really about, um, hanging in there no matter what, being strong no matter what, understanding your limits, making sure you're setting your boundaries, try, try not to take up, take on more than you can chew. I'm kind of getting that um, more than you can handle. Um, if you know something is going to push you over the edge ahead of time, you know, take it off your schedule. You know, don't, don't schedule it in if it's either going to make you tired, cranky, or where you're going to have to skip a meal, okay? Try to keep extra snacks in your car at your desk so that you kind of stay fueled. Uh, Tauruses generally, I feel like they, they can eat a lot. They can consume a lot. And so it's important for you to stay nourished. Um, I feel like some of you are suffering a little bit from malnutrition. Um, I would definitely recommend doing um, a health spread with me um, to see if there's anything in particular that you can take that would help this. Um, typically, vitamins and minerals <clears throat> are good, but there's certain ones that you kind of want to avoid. Um, I'm seeing more like green, like barleens, greens kind of thing would be good for you. Um, anything green, um, chlorella, spirulina, um, kale, you know, doing like kale juice, parsley juice, things like that are going to help you. Things like that have like, they're super foods, okay? Any super food you're going to need, I feel like in April, okay? So you need to work on that, pay attention to that a little bit more. 
go to the grocery store, you know, get some goji juice, get some goji berries, um, anything that's loaded with like antioxidants, acai juice, acai berries, things like that, really going to help you. Anything green again, too. Um, and what's crossing you, okay, so interestingly, you've got, you know, pretty much predominantly, like almost 100% positive cards with the exception of the position, the card in the position of your attitude, okay? <clears throat> um, which is the fear card, okay? Which is having a negative headspace. So Taurus, the only thing that's blocking you in April is your negative thinking. It's your fear. It's you being afraid of whatever these birds represent to you, okay? Um, I feel like there's a fear of change, um, going on with you. Um, it's just negative emotions. Um, you know, wanting to know, wanting to know how things are going to work, how it's going to work out. Um, you can't force it. You know, you have to, you have to be in a position more of, going with this flow, okay, and just knowing and trusting that things are going to work out. Um, the card that's crossing you is the free will card, and the free will card is, <clears throat> it's a card about um, not knowing the outcome because the outcome or the future hasn't been written yet, okay. In a way, it's about you taking the bull, and I always say this to Taurus sometimes, not always, but sometimes, say this to Taurus, taking the bull by the horns and making it happen um, and doing it yourself. And it's other people's free will as well as yours that contribute to the outcome of um, your life as you know it, okay? So <clears throat> say you're in a relationship. Well, you know... Um, their free will, if they decide, okay, they don't want the relationship anymore, let's just say for instance, then the outcome is going to change significantly of your life, where you go, what you do, how you do it, right? It's going to impact you. Um, and your decision, whether you really want to stay in the relationship with them, is also going to be impacted. Uh, impact your future, obviously, because if you decide to stay with them, well, things stay the same. If you don't, then everything changes, right? So it's really up to you to kind of make things happen. Um, for you to get the hanged man crossed by the free will card, the wheel of fortune, it's kind of an interesting thing because... The, the hanged man is all about inner strength and kind of the and kind of waiting waiting and the free will is about action it's about spinning the wheel it's about um, making a choice going for it you know so I feel like you're going to be coming out of a time of waiting and having to make some serious decisions in April these decisions will impact the outcome Okay. Um, and the biggest thing that's going to impact your outcome and your future in April is your attitude. Because your attitude is the only thing in this spread that's negative. Which tells me that you're so afraid to make choices, to make changes. Um, you're afraid that you're going to spin this wheel and the outcome's not going to be good. But your outcome, the outcome would be good. If you spun the wheel with a positive out attitude, um, and the outcome is the um, beginning, the drop of promise, the beginning of emotions, the beginning of uh, of a new relationship, the beginning, the start of something new, the promise that things are going to be all right, that you've left your hardship behind you, that. It's no longer going to be, you know, tumbleweeds through your bank account. It's going to be where money is coming in. So your fears are blocking financial prosperity for you. You are blocking your blessings. Your 
negative headspace is literally blocking your financial prosperity. Maybe it's your fear that you're not going to have financial increase or you're worried about finances in some way and stability. But the thing is, is that, <clears throat> and I said this quote the other day, nothing ventured is nothing gained, right? So you have to be positive and think that it will be fine and your finances will be fine no matter what. You're going to have all that you need. And the thing is, if you think you're going to, well, it's like saying, don't worry, universe, I can wait till tomorrow. By saying, you have what you need. I have what I need right now in this moment. I have everything that I need. I have all the finances that I, that I need. I have financial prosperity. I have love. I have, you know, abundance. You can say all those things, and that is what's going to change things for you. Thinking, what if I have financial prosperity? What if I don't have financial prosperity? What if, what if, what if? That's negative thinking. So you need to think in the terms of you have it right now. And um, you have everything you need right now. Um, even if technically, and Taurus, I feel like you're going, but technically I don't. Technically I haven't had anything in my bank account for a really long time. Technically I don't. No, it's the mentality. Okay, and it's the energy. Okay, so it's not, it's not so black and white. Um, the, okay, so in the position of in the distant past, you have the Miss Lonely Hearts card. Feeling lonely and sad and a little bit depressed. Uh, this is the Five of Pentacles. This is feeling like, you know, maybe you don't have people there. You know, you're not getting the support that you need from others. Um, you know, this is you needing to spend more time in nature. This is you feeling frustration and sadness about a relationship. Um, this is you just maybe not feeling good um, physically. Um, and, you know, I, I always talk about how if she looked to the light... She really spent more time outside in the sun. There's light. If she looked up, there's light coming through. But right now, all that she sees is like this dreariness, okay? So you need to, in the distant past, it was really about either you broke up with someone or, you know, you're going through a tough time where you felt really lonely, where you felt kind of depressed or sad or just like things... You know, you weren't sure where things were going, you know, and um, it's it's almost sort of like, even though I said, you know, pretty much every other card in this spread is positive, the fact that this is in the foundation tells me that there's still a little bit of a cloud hanging over your head, potentially from March, everybody kind of has that right now, but it's a little bit of a this feeling of not non-support um, non-support maybe you're you're the one holding up your household maybe you're single and you're providing for yourself um, it's uh, 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 you know or maybe you know you're just unhappy in your relationship you know your relationships going through some stuff you know uh, or maybe you did break up with someone in March you know and it's kind of <sighs> kind of lingering on you know where you're not really over it yet you know. Um, but you still will be because you have this card, which is the judgment card, which is um, starting fresh. You know, everybody pretty much is getting this card somewhere in their reading. Um, everybody that I've done so far, I think, has with maybe, I think, one exception. So it tells me that April's a new start for everybody. Fresh energy. Um, you know, people are not going to be as plagued financially. I feel like there's a lot more prosperity and abundance happening. Um, in the world that we're going to see. Um, so, um, you know, you being worried about finances is actually blocking your blessings from all this, all this abundance that's going to be kind of pouring into the universal collective um, and energy. Um, and interestingly, you have in what's crowning you the page of um, swords. I say the page of swords? Yeah, page of swords. Um, this is um, being carried away from hardship. This is the card about being lifted up out of hardship. 
um, you know, this is, you know, you coming out of a time of maybe a financial hardship, maybe things financially have been proved for you and you're kind of at this, right now you're kind of at this stable point and you're worried that maybe, you know, letting go of that stability, you know, everything's going to crumble, you know, maybe you're worried that things are going to change and, you know, you're going to go back to being in this place of hardship again. But the thing is, is Taurus, you can't cling on to the past. You can't cling on to that dark cloud that's hanging over your head, that hardship cloud, okay? You have to let go of that. You have to be willing to, you know, open your hands instead of clinging on for the, to the money that you have and the stability and everything that's the same, 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 whatever that is, relationship. You have to let it go and you have to say, okay, I'm open to whatever is going to come. Whenever that is, I'm open. I'm open to new prosperity, you know, because say, you know, you're experiencing prosperity right now. Let's just say, right? And you make a good salary, you have a good job, you know, everything's good in your apartment or you have a house and it's, it's, it's everything's pretty stable. You've got a good relationship, but in a way, nothing stay. the only thing consistent in life is change. Clinging on to all this st stability inevitably is going to lead you to losing that because you become resistant to the to any change to lose to the loss so you're more susceptible Taurus to loss than other people especially if anybody has strong Taurus in their chart they're more susceptible to this loss why because they cling on to to any stability that they can get and then the universe inevitably takes it because they're resistant to making any change so it's important for you, Taurus, to try your best to go with the flow and um, just do your best to, you know, kind of any change that's going to happen. I feel like the judgment card brings changes. This is a new start, um, you know, in a new cycle. So, um, you know, don't don't fear, you know, this this future here. Um, you also have the moving card in the immediate future. Um, so either you're planning on buying a house or you're planning on moving, maybe moving, you know, longer, long distance, um, across the ocean, you know, big travel. This is, this is an immediate, this, so this is going to be happening soon, um, sooner than you think it's going to happen. Um, and, and this is, this is switching directions. This is choosing a new direction. So it's interesting that we're talking about change for you, Taurus, because a lot of change is about, is like about to happen for you. And I feel like maybe you're, you have a lot of anxiety about it, but don't let the change worry you basically, because it's all good. You know, um, it's all really good. So, um, don't worry on that score, okay? E emotionally, position of emotions, you got the spider card. So you're focused on work right now. You're focused on either finding a job or working. Um, and maybe you're feeling a little bit stuck. You can be like one of these critters where the spider's about to drain their blood, where you're, you know, you're, you're kind of holding out your arm to your job. And you're saying, okay, take my life, take my blood. And you feel like stuck, like every day. It's like you go in and you offer your pint, you know, to your boss. Um, or to your job, and um, it's not really a good way to feel, okay? Um, you may be the boss, okay? And you may feel like, you know, you're working 100 hours, you know? Think about this card. This is in the position of emotions. Chances are you don't have time to feel anything or do anything because you're working so much, and the spider card works long hours. Um, some of you are working really long hours. Some of you are just focused on it, and some of you are working too much, I'd say. Um, and it's draining you. That's the main point about this card. It is draining you. It is, like, literally draining you. Um, if you're looking for a job, and this may be your focus, um, I feel like you're going to get it. Why? Because you have this card coming in from the universe, which is sitting on top of the world, okay? Um, this is power and achievement. This is being the king of your castle, okay? 
And this is for good for real estate, any kind of investments, any pro anything with properties. Um, this is arriving, coming into your own power, okay? Um, this is a feeling of sitting on top of the world, maybe at a house or apartment or someplace, that you feel is like really yours. Like you earned it, like you've arrived, or maybe... The door to something new for you has opened or is opening and you've gotten to this place of achievement. You feel like you've achieved a lot. Um, and it's going to feel really, and I'm getting a t strong tangle on this, so it's going to feel really good for you um, in April to have this moment where you're empowered. You're in a place of, of um, I'm getting financial success absolute financial success. Um, anything to do with real estate. Uh, we've got two kind of real estate e kind of cards. If you're in real estate, let me know. Um, some of you, you know, a lot of do a lot to do with properties, um, you know, buying a house, selling a house, you know, maybe making an investment, having a property for an investment, thinking about investing, you know, all that kinds of stuff. Um, that's what you know, you kind of have going on here to have the travel and to have the, the what I call the real estate card going on. It just feels like, you know, some of you are, are maybe buying a house or selling a house or looking at properties, um, things like that. Um, and then we already talked about the last two cards, which um, we talked about this, this fear card, which is what's blocking you from the Ace of Cups, which is that drop of promise, so that financial prosperity. Um, here's the thing, because in general, your spread is so positive, um, and because you only have this one thing that's blocking you, if you can overcome your negativity and let go of your fears and stop fear feeding your fears with, negative thinking of how am I going to do this and how am I going to do that and is this going to work out and is this not going to work out and and when is this going to happen and, and you know all that um will I ever you know will this you know will this a uh, job opportunity ever come to me or will such and such ever change or will I get this or you know uh what if I don't things like that all that stuff you know flush if you can get over that um then you'll have, and I pulled another card, the Eight of Cups, which is um, Eight of Cups in the upright, which is peace of mind. Um, this is moving away from troubling times and or troubled emotions. Um, so you're literally, because this is one of the moving cards, you're literally going to move. Your fears and your negativity are blocking you from, I feel like, a really good job opportunity. Um and or uh, financial prosperity and or moving if that is what you should should be choosing um, to do. Um, and it's an amazing card, the Eight of Cups. To me, I love it. You need to go swimming. Um, when I see this card, people that have kind of like a worry, worried mindset, worried mindset, need to get underwater, okay? I don't recommend a bath for you. Showers are better. Um, I recommend seriously going into the deep end of a pool. If you can get to a Y or a community pool, um, you know, indoor pool, especially because it's, you know, still kind of not even spring quite yet in the northern hemisphere. Um, it's so cold, you know. Get to an indoor pool. Get in the deep end. Seriously, go deep. Uh, and when you do that, all the noise, all of the noise, all of the negative will go away. Um, so you need to absolutely do that. Um, so those of you who are not like buying and selling property, you're just moving. Um, I would say that, um, again, your negative thinking about the future is blocking you from it being really good. Okay, I feel like this move for you is going to be really good, but don't let your negativity block you. I feel like financially things are going to improve for you if you let go of your fears. So I pulled three additional cards just because 
Um, I wanted to see any any kind of final messages. Um, and you have, you got the world card, which is success, which is having the whole package, which is having everything that you want. Um, this is wealth, happiness, family, abundance, and love. The world is your oyster, okay? This is... <sighs> In the story of the tarot, this is where the fool takes the leap after going through its journey, it comes back to square one and decides to leap off the cliff and they can fly. And they see, like with this car, everything that's down below. There, you know, I imagine there's this whole city down below, okay, or this whole world down below. And Everything's at their fingertips. They can have it all. They can see it all. They can have it all. You may have some psychic intuition or you have your own psychic abilities, um, you, your own clairvoyances. Um, you know, I mean, that's just a really great place to be. So that's what you want to get to in April, okay? Um, you may feel like you have a lot of responsibilities. You may have a lot on your plate. This may feel a little bit in the beginning of April to middle. You may feel like you have some, you know, may feel like it's a testing kind of time because you've got the hangman and you've got this feeling of like you're just really can't take any out of burdens, can't, can't handle any more stress, can't, you know, deal with, I feel like all of your responsibilities, everything that's kind of landing on your plate at once. And my advice is say no. Say no um, temporarily until things change. That no, you can't do, you know, a million things in a day. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. You can't build it in a day. You have to do it small pieces at a time. And, and you know, there's a lot of projects you've got going on, Taurus. You're multitasking here. But... You know, the thing is, is if this person focused on one of these projects, right, this one, then it would be, I'm getting, it's like, it's like if you're building multiple houses, right, and, you know, you're scattered, you're building too many houses, you can't really focus completely on that one house. You can build a castle, that one house would become your castle if you focus on that one thing, okay? Um, and it would come out better than if you tried to build, like, all these other little mini castles, you know, together that are kind of all the same. It, it's not going to be as spectacular. So um, focus more on one or two things. Limit your focus. I feel like you're getting starting to become very scattered, okay, where you're spreading your energy too thin of, over a lot of different things. Um, and then the outcome for this last card is the Five of Swords. And somebody else got this um, as well. Uh, I don't remember. This might have been... This might have been Aquarius. I don't remember. So you may be talking to Aquarius or you may be in a relationship with an Aquarius. Um, but this is... Or you may have just... Uh, some cranes around you. Um, but this is um, survival mode, okay? This is conflict. This is um, a bad dude in some cases. Some people would say that this person, this young man or young woman, is in survival mode. Uh, this person may be someone that you, uh, that's, you know, a friend of yours could be a child of yours. It could be, you know, because they could be young. Um, th again, this could be you in some instances, but I feel like it's probably someone that's just around you that's influencing you in kind of a negative way. They're kind of in a negative place. They've been through a lot. They're hurt. They're coming from a lot of pain. They have a lot of pain inside them. And so they need some healing, I feel. They need some healing and... Um, you know, the best thing is, you know, try not to get into a conflict with this person, okay? Um, because this person doesn't uh, accept responsibility. 
this person will always blame it on circumstances, somebody else, but it was this person who did that to me kind of thing. So um, it's kind of challenging in the sense that you have these these two cards are kind of negative. I also see this as like a little bit of a cloud hanging over it. Your responsibilities and this person, okay? This person is that negative um, influence on your life. If this is a romantic uh, person, this is a person who is, uh, who needs to learn humility. They need to learn um, compassion, I'm getting, too. They need to learn that the world is not out to get them, okay? The world is their oyster. It, you need to show this person how the world can be their oyster. That is why you are in their life, um, because you see the world as your oyster, but they don't see it that way. They feel like they're getting attacked by everybody, nobody's on their side, they're alone, and they don't have anybody. They feel like nobody is there for them. And so they're willing to be hurtful, to say things. They're, they're spiteful. They're bitter because um, they feel like they have to do it on their own. They feel like everyone's against them. So better to um, teach that person a little bit of humility. Teach that person about what humility is um, so that they can see that this world is their oyster and see how things can turn out to be good in the end. However, if they are seeing that you're like this, then they will become more negative because they're absorbing it from you. So you need to set a better example for them, Taurus, uh, and show them, okay, the world can be your oyster. It's not everybody. It's like, it's like somebody saying, well, all guys are bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I go through these phases where I'm in an anti-guy phase, you know, where all guys are bad, you know. Or, you know, guys going through a phase where all women suck, you know, things, saying things like that. Um, it's, it's not all bad. And the world can be your oyster if you see it that way. If you see it as, you know, the world's out to get you and everything's just a series of challenges and tests, well, then that's going to be your experience. That's how, you know, you're going to perceive it and that's how you're going to get through life. So better to encourage them not to think that way, to think more positively. Um, okay, so I think that's it for you guys right now. Um, you know, definitely email me if you want to do a private reading and I will be back again with more videos. And I send you so much love and big hugs. Big kisses. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Okay, take care.